Morning, guys. Hope all is well. Um, I'm just going to do a video about what I uh looking at so far. Last night, I did mention it. Price is moving up. I was waiting for price to come back into this zone. You can see we had that little imbalance zone. Price Asian session tested it really, really nice. And I am now just looking and going off um continuations. You can see price moving really nice now. Going into London open. Had a push above this zone, came back down test just with my stops below the low. And my overall target is uh, this 12 hourly zone. What are we on a four hour? Let's have a look. Where are we? What zone was I? Uh, this uh, daily low. So, this daily low, I'm waiting for price to come and push back up into. If not, I will maybe just have my target, depending on how price moves, just up to this high up here. That's fine. Um, but for the time being, with the momentum, price is looking really clean. You can see we do have a little more of an imbalance in here. We did just run that low, and price is now starting to push higher. So um, that's really, really nice to see. So that's pound JPY. Silver. Um, I put this idea in the chat a little while ago, um, and it's now finally come in. We did push down lower and just test um, that little hourly zone. We came in and filled the imbalance. We didn't close. Um, we didn't close the imbalance, um, meaning price didn't close below it. Um, I do have a super super small uh zone in here. I didn't actually have an um I didn't place an order in here, but when I saw price coming into this zone this morning, I did just place a super super small trade on it because it did come into my plan and it is still valid. Um so let's wait and see what happens with that. Silver, it's still looking quite strong at the moment. Um still looking quite weak. So if we can actually stay and respect this zone um, I do want to see if we can just push back up and take out these highs. Um, AU, really fucking clean trade. Um, sent this one out in the group yesterday, as well as the pound Swiss one. Um, entry just off this 30 minute zone. You can see we wicked it. We did actually just take this high. Um, sorry, guys. What we did actually do is. We did also come back up and test this 12K mark, um, this 12 hourly zone in here, sorry. Um, and you can see price literally just kissed it going into the Asian session. So that would have actually been a one to five, but my target was actually just only here. Um, so that's AU. So far now, um, I do and am looking at another opportunity on NAS. 100 okay uh daily we came down and we tested a breaker block on this 12 hour and we do have this daily imbalance up here which i do want to see price maybe come into for the here and now though we've got a lot of liquidity resting in the former highs we got this wick we got this imbalance we got this high um and so what are we doing so um, we came down we raided and we raided again let me just get my thing up cool so entry model we have liquidity sweep that's number one number two a market structure shift or displacement number two we have our market structure shift and we have our displacement down in here number three is a order block or a fair value gap which is what we do have on a five minute. You can see we have our five minute imbalance right down here. Second, third, fourth is looking for our OTE, just looking for zones that line up within this zone and then orders. So we are waiting to, to see on those orders. What I will do, drag this across. I don't have anything here. I do have an order though. Just at the open, my stop loss is just slightly a little bit lower. So now I haven't put my stop loss all the way protecting this loan because the last move that we could see is on this one minute where this dotted line is. And really and truly, if price is going to close below that and go past that, then it's probably going to be invalid, which is why I've just got my stop just below 
don't really intend on it going that low, but this is the market, so literally anything can happen and not going to put it past it. Um, and my target is just going to be to this wick high. So that's going to be a nice one to five. Did also have Euro JPY. Um, Euro JPY came in, we filled this imbalance, and we actually just came down and filled the whole thing. Came up Asian, came down test, and then London, you can see we are kind of just pushing and I do want to see if we can get a run up on this top side. Um, so far, so much for entries. Um, if you were really straight ballsy enough, we have actually tested everything. So you probably could literally just do a straight entry like this. And have it to your top side. That's a one to three. That's really, really nice. And then we are just going to be targeting this Asian liquidity right here. I'm not in on anything right now. Um, I'm quite happy with my pound gen and my silver. Um, but again, AU really, really nice. Um, and if and Euro pound, uh, Euro JPY was really, really nice. Um, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ethereum did actually come all the way down into a twelve-hour zone that I was literally was eyeing up for ages. Or is it four hour? Yeah, this four-hour zone. And we also did come in, fill and test this imbalance in here. So any further upside movement now is going to be valid for me. We swept all of this liquidity in here. So I really do want to see if price can actually just start running now. We died. That's fine. Um, does price want to push back up to the top side? Maybe. Um, if we do get some clear confirmation breaks, then that'll be nice. But so far... Um, I'm going to wait on this. Same as Bitcoin as well. Um, nothing really that juicy happened on Bitcoin. Um, I was US 30 last night. Um, US 30 last night. We hit my target, which was just this high. It was only a small one to three, but it did take a little while for it to come in. One minute, we came down, we tested this loan, price start to push back up. We created a lot of volume and imbalance within this zone. I was looking just straight off um, this breaker zone in here. So I wanted to see if price was going to come and stay, respect these zones. You can see we respected. Literally just caught my entry as price was pushing down a bit, broke a bit higher, then we actually just start respecting, and then we actually then eventually started coming back up. This trade was a little bit more riskier for me, um, but from the time of the day it was, and considering we were raiding and we had left a lot of liquidity, this big strong push for me was uh, was quite juicy, and you can see. Um, so that was just a small little nice one to three. Um, but nothing really that amazing. But NAS is going to be the one I'm looking at most for the day. Um, obviously, pound JPY, I'm going to hold that. If pound JPY doesn't hold, then we very much well could see somewhere a little bit deeper get tested. Um, but for, for the here and now, though, I am just going to be looking um, at just what I have so far. Um, so that is currently it. If any of you guys got any questions or anything, please let me know. Feel free to fire away and I will help everyone as much as I can. All right, guys. Bye-bye.